tonight at 10. There are a lot of questions surrounding three fires in the past month that have destroyed buildings in Parrish. A news conference was held today to address this latest fire that demolished a church. CBS 42 News reporter Corey McGinnis joins us now live in the studio with more on that. Corey. Yeah, sure. Good evening. Well, Pastor Bobby Shedd says that whoever is responsible for burning down the church hopes that they come forward, but doesn't understand why people have no respect for the Lord's house. We opened those doors and seen all that damage. It just really was heartbreaking. Parish pastor of 26 years, Bobby Shedd of New Beginning Church, can't believe that the sanctuary he once led is now a charred disaster scene. This shocked me that somebody would do something like that. Shedd says before the church caught fire Wednesday, two 55 inch mounted television monitors and a weed eater were stolen, but were quickly recovered by law enforcement the same day. The church is now the third fire in parish in the past month, including a house fire and this substation, causing concern for parish mayor Letitia Oliver. Of course, I'm concerned uh, about it uh, greatly, especially when fires are being set. But an arrest was made Friday afternoon in reference to one of the fires. 33-year-old Joshua Clayton Little is charged with second-degree arson. An investigation by the Alabama State Fire Marshal's office revealed that two people were allegedly paid to burn down the new substation in retaliation to the increase of arrest in Parrish by the Walker County Sheriff's Department. There should be no alarm at this time. Parish Police Chief Julius Gamblin says they've spoken to one person of interest in regards to the church fire and are currently looking for two other people of interest, but doesn't want to put out too much information at this time. We hope to quickly apprehend whoever is involved in this. But that's easier said than done for Pastor Shedd, who was just three payments away from paying off the mortgage at the church. It's devastating, and uh, the only thing I can add is we need everybody praying for us. Mayor Letitia Oliver told Pastor Shedd that they can use the old high school gym for service until they rebuild. Service starts at 10 o'clock. Live in the studio tonight, Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Terrible, Corey, thanks.